there it is. That is it. My new toy. Whoo! It took us, uh, it's 9.22. We started at 6.30 to get it on the truck. We had some issues with the pallet. So we'll see how long it takes to get it all. Yeah. That, my friends, is a 1952 Cincinnati number no. two vertical and horizontal mill. It's gonna be awesome. Now we have to wait for this train. All right.
High five. He wouldn't have thought it, he said. <laughs> Ta-da! Muscles and a little leverage. We did it. What? We did it. Is it all over? Are we still recording? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Will we take a moment? No. Oh, yeah. Okay. There it is. Can you see it in the background? Woo! Well, on the, on the level of what you thought it was going to be like, how was it? Better than you thought or worse? Yeah, it went real good. <laughs> I'd have Way to agree. Than I thought it would. I'd have to agree. Yeah. Two jacks helped. Three white men yes. for a little bit. And we had fun. We did have fun. So there it is. Here you go. I'll let you yeah. hold this for one second. Just hold it right there. Tilt it up a little. Alright. Let me turn it so I can see you. That way just a little. Yeah, you can. Yeah, there you Alright, so can we zoom in? the question was what is coming to the lab? you guess it right or not? A milling machine. Not a CNC. Just a regular old hand milling machine. But it is automatic with the way everything feeds. It is auto. So that's cool. Russ, that was your research. It was a long day. I wish we could film loading on the truck because that was actually more work, I believe. I cover. I'll take it All right, today, today is the 11th. 5-11. One day before Mother's Day, this is my dad, and we have successfully moved a milling machine into the lab. Let's go eat. Really? Bye. Bye. Are you going to make any funny faces? Alrighty, so let's take a tour of the milling machine. Alright? I believe this is a 56 inch table. Okay? It's a long table. It is a very long table. All right, big old thing. Now, the reason that I really like this mill, there's two, there's, there's a, re, there's, well, there's a couple reasons why I like it, but then there's another reason why I don't. One reason that I like it is all the functionality here is automated. Okay, as far as if you want it to go up, you go up, you go down, you can select the speeds. All right, if you want it to go left or if you want it to go right, which I have to engage this over here. Hold on. There we go. Okay, left or right, the table was automated, automatically fed. 
if you want it to go forward and backward, I actually haven't figured that out. I think it's this lever and this lever. I actually haven't played with it yet because I don't have it turned on. Unfortunately, this thing is three phase 480 volt, but the motors can be switched to 220. At least the one up here can. There's two motors on this big old monster and I'll explain why. This is not only a vertical mill, but also a horizontal mill, okay? Here's the thing, this head right here, you can see how long it is, it actually slides forward, then you take one of those attachments right there, you attach it on the end, you open this up, and you stick a spindle in there. Then you can put cutters like this on there, and actually cut horizontal, alright? The shafts are actually down here. Some of the horizontal shafts are buried in the back back there. But here's what's cool. All the heads, all right, and the parts that hold the uh, horizontal mill. Uh, this is a vertical mill inserts. Um, some braces. I really don't know if these go with this machine because I don't really know where they go, but I'm sure that they do. They came with it. Um, all these different cutters all came with this. I can actually cut sprockets for chains with some of these cutters. Some of these cutters are really crazy. Look at this thing. It's like a freaking saw blade. What the heck? It's crazy. Different different style cutters cut woodruff keys and different type of keyways and angled cutters and I mean there's just a bunch of different stuff. Here's one that looks like it's for cutting woodruff keys. <coughs> I don't know, man. These are crazy looking cutters. But there's just a whole bunch of stuff. And um, the cool thing is, is that I can literally use this almost similar to like a table saw type of cut action with some of these cutters. Um, but all these cutters came with it. There's probably, I don't even want to guess how much money in cutters. Some of these probably aren't real, real sharp. Some of them are brand new. Like these are brand new. They're in the box. Uh, those are the end pieces. So let's let's take a quick tour. Um, this motor up here runs the mill head itself. Now this is a vertical mill head, and the only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have a quill. It doesn't have a an action to bring this down. But with the table being automated, just get it set, hit the lever, drill your hole, bring it back down. A little bit more time consuming than a regular drill press, but it functions the same. I've also got the uh, the drill press chuck end that attaches into this mill head so we're good there this actually rotates at an angle this way this actually rotates at an angle this way so I can rotate in both axes which is very cool um, I've got speed control for this motor up here all right if I can pull this up I got different speeds I'll turn it here oh, maybe all right so put this back in one I'm not pulling up hard enough. Not or the gears just aren't sitting right. That's what it is. All right, so here's a. You can see the speed's a lot faster. I'm just, I'm just turning, turning the end here to get that to go. But this is different speed selections. All right, let's give you the name. I didn't do that. This is a Cincinnati brand name, Cincinnati, and it's a number two. If you want to look it up, Cincinnati number two MH. Horizontal, villi, villi, horizontal and vertical milling machine. Just for fun, there's a serial number. You can Google that and find out more information. Um, so, some of the labels real quick. All right, so you got different spindle speeds. It's a pretty cool way that this actually switches gears. And then you've got the ABC type of settings. Um, then you've got forward, reverse, that's the spindle direction. That actually controls the motor. Now let me show you the back motor. This is what's interesting about this milling machine. Um, so the top motor actually controls the end mill, the horizontal. But there's this separate second motor. All right. It's hard to see. It's a big freaking motor. I believe it's a five horsepower. This one up here is a three horsepower. All right, but this motor is actually what controls all of the functionality and the horizontal mill. Let's try to get over here and get a better shot. Okay, 
So this motor actually controls all of the table functionality and the horizontal or the vertical, sorry, horizontal um, portion of this mill. Okay, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, I'll go ahead and close this back up. So really, that's basically all the functionality of it. Um, I, I don't know, I don't know what that lever does. Um, it might move this in automatically. I don't know. But it's also got a hand. You just loosen up. Let's see this bolt and this bolt, and this has teeth on the bottom of it. And then that's what actually slides this out. So you can actually do horizontal vertical milling with this, which is pretty cool. Um, it takes a little bit of setup, but once you get it set up, you're good to go. So I can do like surfacing and stuff with a horizontal cutter. So uh, anyway, that's that's my new my new toy. It weighs 5,000 pounds. Actually, it weighs um, 4,800. Just under it, actually. Barely under it. So there you go. There's a quick tour of the new milling machine. It's also got the automatic oiler. This is pretty cool. I think some of these are kind of stuck, but basically if you get this set up right, you can turn the oiler on. The oil will automatically dispense onto your cutting area. Automatically run down in here, run down in the bottom drain into the drain and get pumped back up into the um, the actual uh, cutting area again. So that's that's actually a really cool thing because oil is messy and if you can contain it where it automatically runs back down and keeps it going, that's pretty freaking sweet. This is contactors for the bottom motor. Top motor has contactor right there. Start and stop button. Temporarily removed it it's like that the bottom here actually has the switch up there that's for the top that must be for the back one of these two is for the bottom motor probably the one in the back anyway um, this little door is some sort of a port I really don't know what it is <laughs> not a clue it doesn't do anything that I can tell I'm thinking that originally the contactors was inside and somebody added that box I don't know though um, so that's it. That's that is the new milling machine. I really hope uh, really hope you guys are excited as I am. I just uh, I couldn't believe this thing was scrap at a scrap price. They just get moved. Here's how big it is. If you want to get a visual table, I believe it's like I said, 56 inches. I believe this goes out probably about two and a half feet. And it'll lower and raise about two and a half feet. It's actually almost all the way down. I was gonna wait until I got it hooked up because it's really this bottom table is just heavy. That's all there is to it. And it's gonna take a lot of work to get it all the way back where it originally was. I lowered it so we could handle it a little better. Anyway, um, it, needs a, it needs a little tender loving care, a little oil. It's probably been old in 50 years. Huh. It's a uh, 1952 from what I can find out. So, yeah. I'm pretty excited about it because I got it for scrap price. That's right, scrap price. 